still fighting to get their money back for canceled flights from 2020. Others are worried about vouchers that expire soon. Taking action reporter Jackie Calloway found some airlines easing their policies in the interest of customer service. Veteran travelers Robert and Marcia Simon planned a romantic tour of Italy in April of 2020 to celebrate their 39th wedding anniversary. For us, it was quite a big trip. Just days before takeoff, the couple canceled over COVID. Then United grounded that same flight. They initially uh, indicated they would issue a credit or a voucher that could be used within the, the year. But Robert didn't want a voucher. He wanted the $1,200 he paid for his ticket. But they would not issue any uh, refunds. If the airline cancels your flight, you are owed the, a refund period. Scott Kyes, the founder of Scott's Cheap Flights, points out refunds are federally mandated when an airline scrubs a flight. They can offer you a voucher, but they also have to tell you that you're eligible for a refund and let you have one if you want one. According to United's website, the airline adjusted its refund guidelines last June, two months after Robert's planned trip offering flyers who experienced a significant United schedule disruption and were denied a refund a chance to exchange their voucher for cash back. The airline traded Robert's $1,200 voucher for cash after we emailed their corporate office. They should have refunded those monies without making you jump through hoops. In another policy adjustment, United extended the expiration date on all vouchers issued in the last 20 months. A spokesperson told us those tickets will now be extended through March 31st, 2022, to give customers extra time to use for travel. Those holding vouchers for other airlines should ask for an extension before those tickets expire. Ask for that six month extension, ask for that 12 month extension. There's a good chance that the airlines will say yes. For flyers who were given a voucher but are owed a refund, try reaching out to the airline's customer service line more than once. The second or third agent may give you a yes. If that doesn't work, you can file a complaint with federal regulators and they'll mediate for you. We've got that information posted at abcactionnews.com. I'm Jackie Calloway, taking action for you.